गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन प्रीवियस पीरियड वी आर स्टडी अबाउट एज द अर्थ क्वेक एंड द कॉजेस ऑफ द अर्थ क्वेक्स नाउ इन दिस पीरियड इन दिस पीरियड वी आर डिस्कस अबाउट एज द फोकस एंड इपी सेंटर एंड देयर सिस्मिक वेव्स आर डिवाइडेड बाय ऑफ द थ्री टाइप्स ओके नाउ इन दिस पीरियड वी आर स्टार्ट एज द स्टार्ट ऑफ दिस कॉजेस ऑफ द कॉजेस ऑफ अर्थवेक लास्ट पीरियड वी आर डिस्कस सो फोकस वॉट इज द फोकस बिकॉज ऑफ द मूवमेंट ऑकरिंग बिलो द अर्थ सर्फेस टेंशन इज क्रिएटेड इट कीप्स ऑन द अथोमेटिक येस वेन दीज मूवमेंट्स आर ऑकरिंग बिलो ऑफ द मीन्स वेन दीज द टेंशन आर क्रिएटेड इन द इंटीरियर पार्ट ऑफ द अर्थ सो दैट टाइम दिस हाई एनर्जी इज रिलीज एट द प्लेस वेयर इज देयर टेंशन इज क्रिएटेड टेंशन इज अ माउंट अप टेंशन इज अ हाई अप सो This place is the epicenter of the earthquake, and it is called the hypocenter. It is the focus or hypocenter. But when these energy waves scatter in all direction from these places, so these places on the earth surface where there is the energy waves reach at uh, reach force, it is called the epicenter of the earthquake. It is the nearest. Uh, place on the earth surface from the focus and it experience the first tremor the epicenter is the perpendicular to the focus okay now what is called the earth center what is the hypocenter or the focus so where there is energy is released at the place where there is the tension is the mount up in the interior of the earth that is place of the earthquake that the center of the earthquake and it is called the hypocenter or the focus but when these types of energy has scattered in all direction from these places so they where there is energy what waves where there is energy waves reach at the first first place it is called the epicenter of the earth earthquake now in this place to nearest place on the earth surface from the focus and the experience the fourth tremor It, uh, that is the epicenter is the epi that is the epicenter is perpendicular to the focus when this tension is released at the focus the release energy travel in all directions this energy comes towards the surface in the form of waves okay now when this energy uh, when this tension is uh, created uh, when this tension is released at this place interior of the earth so that time all energy has released uh, release uh, travel in all directions and this energy comes towards the comes towards the uh, earth surface in the form of different waves so these seismic waves can be divided into the primary wave secondary waves and the surface wave okay now the first is primary waves primary waves means these waves are these waves are the force reach on uh, reach to the surface the earth after the energy are emitted in the interior of the earth they travel they travel at very fast speed from the focus of the earthquake and in all gradual direction and it is initiate to the primary waves as a p these p waves means primary waves particles in the rock move in all directions of the wave as a to and fro means a backward and the forward directions these waves can travel through the in all in all the state as a like of the solid state media liquid state and the gaseous state but but while this prime primary waves uh traveling through the only liquid medium because this primary waves are building on the earth surface move back and fro means uh, back and fro means uh, uh backward and uh, forward directions it has initiate to the p letters that is the primary waves secondary waves the waves which reach at the earth surface after the primary waves are called secondary waves secondary waves when these primary waves already reach at the earth surface and then secondary waves reach the or reach on the earth surface that is the primary waves these waves are also scatter in all directions from the focus of the earth center earthquake 
and there means uh, secondary waves are velocity lesser than of the primary waves primary waves and these particles lying in all the waves in the, all the way of these uh, um, waves uh, in a in which of the direction of the move up and down primary waves back and forward direction but secondary waves move up and down of the directions can travel through the and these waves secondary waves secondary waves uh, traveling through the only solid medium solid state because uh, already primary waves has a building on the buildings on the earth surface move back and forward side so it has a, it cannot be secondary waves passing through the uh, through the liquid medium because these are solid material solid of the state they get absorbed means secondary waves also get absorbed the enter of the liquid medium first of primary medium has traveling through the liquid medium so secondary waves cannot be passing through the solid uh, cannot passing through the liquid medium so they get absorbed there enter the liquid medium the buildings on the earth surface move up and down because of these waves that is the reason of because primary waves has a building on the earth surface backward and the forward so it has a, it cannot be secondary waves can pass through the liquid medium it is passing through the solid medium because uh, the gate absorbed there uh, enter the liquid medium so the buildings on the earth surface move up and direction because of this waves they are more and the secondary waves uh, secondary waves are more destructive than of the primary waves now third surface waves yes surface waves means after generated primary waves and uh, uh, sorry uh, secondary waves are also initiate of the s later okay primary waves later are initiate to p later and secondary waves are uh, s later and third is surface waves surface waves are initiate the later of l these waves are after generated of the primary waves and the secondary waves these waves are traveling in all directions and uh, direction of the circumference of the earth along the crust yes now after the generated primary and secondary waves of the surface waves and these waves are in all directions travel in the all direction but in only circumference of the earth crust and these these waves are means second uh, surface waves are also highly destructive than of the primary waves and the secondary waves as uh, in this point i also uh, mention here the seismograph seismograph this instrument is a graph showing the movement of seismic waves yes in previous period we are studying about as a uh, seismic waves seismic movement seismic uh, uh, simple of the instrument as to count and measure the seismic waves when this happen of the earthquake and the volcanoes so this instrument of the graph showing movement of seismic waves can be generated after studying this graph uh, the magnitude of the earthquake is known as as a simple instrument simple of the seismograph as a seismograph prepared from e now with this uh, new technology is a modern technology advanced seismographs and be, has been designed have been designed with their help of even the micro seismic waves can be generated can be measured easily that the modern technology okay next period we will discuss about as the discuss about as the effect of earthquake and the volcanoes and their types